Good morning, collective. Let's see what messages come out for you guys today. We're going to start with the red oracles. These readings are for entertainment purposes only, so please don't make anything fit. And don't put anyone or any reader above your own intuition. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Please and thank you. Good morning, gorgeous. Sometimes you gotta tell yourself. Good morning, gorgeous. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Please and thank you. Messages of divine guidance do you have for the collective? Take me. We have thinker out. So that's like Virgo energy. There's a double four here. So there's something significant about Aquarius season or an Aquarius. All these stars right here. But if you look, you see spirit face coming through that wall. I feel like spirit is trying to reach you regarding some type of, first of all, it's regarding your divine protection. 111 on the phone. So you could be sitting here, and she kind of like, he or she kind of like their words. Spirit's telling you, fear not, don't worry, give over your, your cares and your concerns to spirit, okay? And then for others of you, they're trying to contact you regarding your stability. Force equals stability. So let's see. Something may even come through. Something may come through a child or something may come through an Aquarius. Okay, spirit. There's something that you forgot about with this little chunk of time missing. Maybe something happened when you were a child because this looked like a onesie. I feel like there's something that was forgot about that's coming back around. We may even see the Six of Cups. Something, someone, from, someone significant from your past, but I feel like they were there when you was little. When you were in a onesie. This, you are heavily on this person's mind. There's something coming to you. Because with that slice, like a slice of pie, this is some of y'all are receiving some type of justice. Because of something that happened when you was in. So this is it. newborn up till like, I don't know, 15 months. Is what this onesie is looking like. And you see that little slice of time missing? So, yeah, there's something coming to you, child. Yep, regeneration at the bottom of the deck. So, let's look into it, baby. Let's get into it. Spirit's definitely trying to communicate with you about this. And like I said, you are heavily on someone's mind. Maybe this person cared. This, like, this could be like a godparent. This got something to do with family. Confirmation. It's got something to do with family. For some of you, this person is already on the other side. See the spirit face? But they left you something or did something for you because some time was missing. When you were a baby. So, what in the world? Spirit, let's see what this is for my collective this morning. If this person has passed, before they passed, you was heavily on their mind. Okay? For others of you, they're here, and you heavily on their mind. But I feel like it's something about, could be a king of cups. This could be a father. Somebody looking for you. See how he got the flashlight? And he got this cup. Someone's also stepping down. Someone could be dealing with the Pisces. There could be something here significant about a boat or a court. The arm of this chair looks like one of those pillars that are on court buildings. But this King of Cups has a flashlight in one hand and a cup in the other. We don't know what's in that cup. To be, I feel like it's something emotional. So somebody's coming looking for you, child. What is the message? There's also something about double in portions. 
Somebody's trying to make up for like lost time with this regeneration. Yep, Treasure Island at the bottom of the deck, y'all. And serendipity. This is like blessings. Blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings. With these nines here, there's a nine on the Treasure Island. And there's 18 breaking down to a nine right here on this serendipity. Something's coming to some type of an end here. And these nines, it's giving like releasing or surrendering. But even if you look on this turtle, remind me of y'all that one day I was just sitting back here and I was reading and this turtle just appeared. I know it sounds crazy, but it was just there. And I'm like, I, it was in, it was um in one of my readings. I was like, where the hell did that turtle come from? And I was watching, it was just moving about. I turned back around, turned around, and then it was gone. So the turtle was given, for someone, you might have family in Australia or something could be in Australia. For others of you, there's some type of treasure. And I feel like it took a long time. So it's like, it's been a long, a long time coming. But some type of change is coming here. Regeneration. Even though this regeneration, 46 breaking down to a 10. Now, every time this card come out, because it look like one of those trees that be in Africa, right? I always get the movie, The Lion King. And so, if you know what happened with that, they had ran him out of town. He was supposed to take over this little kingdom. They had ran him out of town or whatever. Made him believe that he was the reason his father passed. It was his uncle. So, I'm telling y'all, this got something to do with family. So, if anything was lost, there's some type of justice coming in for that with this regeneration. But I really feel like it got, look, man, listen. Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. So, there's already people talking about this. Yep, there's people gossiping about this already. The Page of Swords is also like a student energy. Someone may have learned something new. But I feel like there's people. It's like they know the truth. But you see all these birds right here? Those are going to be symbolic to other people. Whoever this is, they 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 holding the sword of truth. So they know the truth. But they're gossiping about And I feel like they're gossiping about this Ace of Pentacles. Because this Ace of Pentacles leads to this treasure island. So, yeah, you may have missed out on something. This is some type of justice coming through. Just peace. And spirit wants you to know that you are divine, guided, and protected. And this has something to do with stability. Because when we think of fours, I think of stability. Okay, look at that. Could be coming from a court. You have the higher one with the Ten of Pentacles here. Or they could have, this is, could be like an organization, institution. The trash is taking itself out. I'm literally looking at my neighbor taking out the trash. The trash is taking itself out. So, wow. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Now, right behind that Ten of Pentacles was the Eight of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So, something could have been getting... Uh, there's a card on one of my decks that says a Holt. Something could have been getting... Maybe there was some um, discrepancies or something, child disputes regarding money who it belongs to let's see what comes out this deck but i feel like there's nothing for you to do Sp really spirit doesn't want you to worry with this thinker card now for somebody here this is not you you're on the mind of someone else they may have fit they may feel like they missed out on something either when you were a child or because of a child, y'all gotta take it how it's gonna resonate. Good morning, gorgeous. Sometimes you gotta tell yourself. Good morning, gorgeous. Spirit, what is the message here for my collective this morning? What's going on? Purpose, okay. Mm. 
mm, what is meant for you will not leave as long as you continue to press forward. Because I do see a four of pentacles with the eight of swords. That's kind of like a, a stuck energy or a holding back, holding down, withheld. Something was being withheld from someone. Mm. Wow. <laughs> they, they can have some, something can, there's something with a city. Someone can have a seat in the city. We be in the city. Let me see what come out of this purple day right here. <coughs> I feel like, because I just saw the card, um, taking shelter, the answers are within. Spirit is definitely trying to contact you. So you may have dreams, visions, downloads. You may get messages through music, movies, commercials, ads. Definitely resonates. Okay? Spirit, what's going on here? You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. Ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out the vision. And what is meant for you will not leave as long as you continue to press forward. Beginning a new cycle. And look at those four eggs in that nest. And you see that bird watching over those eggs? Those eggs is going to be symbolic to these pentacles. Because maybe something was frozen. You see all of the uh, snow on the ground. But it's thawing out. This sun is thawing this out. Maybe there were some things you weren't able to see. Pine needles. That look like a pine tree. Something could be significant with Christmas, because that looked like a Christmas tree. But these eggs, they were, these four eggs were in some type of, could be a bank. That nest could be a bank or savings. And this bird is watching over it, so that's symbolic to, like, your ancestors, your spirit, guys. For some of you, there's someone in the physical watching over this. This could have even been working on ever since you was little. Ever since you was in this onesie, somebody could have put these little four eggs up. And I don't really know how it works, but, like, compound interest. I mean, I don't know how old you are, but it could have been for a long time. Things could have been growing. So, I feel like it's enough for you to start a new cycle. That's why the regeneration is here, beginning a new cycle. Let's go ahead and pull these. Look, open your heart to joy. For some, this could come through some type of partnership. I, I don't know. Y'all gotta take it how it resonates. Treasure Island. Yeah, you might be going to a damn island. I don't know. Spirit. What's the message? For the collective. Early. It's not really early. It's like. I'm recording this at 12.14. So it's actually afternoon. So spirit, let's see what's going on. Message. Now, when this card come out, what's at the bottom of the deck? Imprisonment. That's that edge of sword. Something was stuck. When this card come out, I always tell you, maybe someone's phone calls was being intercepted, mail was being intercepted, email, everything. Because it's like, for some of y'all, these were checks, but they weren't coming to you. They was going to whoever this is, and they were being put up. This could be a wheel. Because that seal on it, that red seal, it gives me, like, important. This is important information. Some of you may even receive letters with this. Police hours. There's something going on. So you could be about to receive some type of message, something really, yeah, a journey. Someone's coming to you. I said somebody was looking for you. You got a flashlight in one hand and a cup in the other. Journey. They Now, whoever this is, they got on this suit so they could be, like, an official person or a professional or something. But I feel like they were asking whoever these two people are. Have you seen a... Tell me, have you seen them? Have you seen them? 
Look, a fictional person. Tell me, have you seen a seen a? Somebody could be a master number 22. Someone could be 22. There could be a 22 year difference. And then you have this house. So there, this could be something with real estate. This also look like a city. You look like a court, that dome. It's something going on. This gate, something is secure. This fence in front of this house gives me security. Hmm. Someone may have tried to like hide something too, because with all these lights on. Spirit, a community. There could have been a community. That could be the Page of Swords. It could be a community that don't want you to have whatever this was. But there's something here about when you was a, uh, not a onesie, when you was in a onesie, when you was a baby, or like a slice of time missing. Something like that. <laughs> you have lovers here, so this could involve a Gemini, siblings, or actual lovers. But even that look like those pillars look like what would be on a court. Maybe something with a little unexpected income. And look at that house behind it. It's like the rich man giving to the poor. And look, child. So I don't know. Behind that child is a wealthy man. And it looks like. Wait, hold up. This wealthy man, this person, they look wealthy, but they give it to the poor. So this could have something to do with charity or something. But look, some of y'all are receiving some type of property. Maybe this is the deed on this message card. This could be the deed to a house. That penny is not a U.S. penny. It's Canadian or something. It's something it's different. Something different about this coin. I'm in the US. I don't know where you guys are watching from, but it's something different about that coin. That coin has a crown on the top. So somewhere where they have kings and queens. I just heard US patent. I don't know, y'all. I really don't know, but it's Treasure Island. Somebody coming for you. They're looking for you. What can I use you for? What do we need to see, Spirit? So, yeah, Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups. Definitely people talking about this. Um, I don't know if they saying good or bad. I feel like it's not good. <laughs> The page of swords is kind of like a gossiping energy. I feel like it's something good. People could even be trying to with that moon and tower that I just saw while I was shuffling. People could be trying to cause a loss with this. There's the lovers again. And there's the six of cups. So, like I said, and see how you little right here. This could have been a caregiver. Why you remind me? Let me tell you, I was watching this show, Bridgington, I think it was called. And uh, his dad had him, but he was autistic. But his dad wanted absolute perfection. And so... Because he, I think he was nonverbal when he was young. This woman came in and started caring for him. Got him to talk and all of that. Well, when his dad passed, this guy back here, he left him this big castle. Looking thing. Cause just, I'm not saying nobody left you a castle, child. But for some of y'all, there is a house here. Look at that right there. And some type of unexpected income. So... Some of y'all may even be discovering some type of truth as to who you are or it's something. I feel like, like the cards say, joy and delight. Open your heart to joy and delight. 
We're going to be shopping to the heavens with happiness, child. What else we need to see, spirit? What else we need to see? Yeah, six of pentacles. This is justice. See the justice scale? This could be a payout or some type of help or something like it's something coming to you now. It just period. Mm -hmm. We got the world. This is the ending of a cycle, beginning of a new one. That's what the cards say, beginning of a new cycle. Y'all know that's what the world stands for. Yeah, ending of a major cycle and the beginning of a new one. So, I don't know who you are, but it's somebody reading. Yeah, look at that. Six of Wands, victory and success, child. Somebody might buy a fast car. That white horse kind of look like... Um, you know what? What car got the horse on it? It could be that car. Take out resume. It could be green, yellow, red, white. It was some type of victory. Somebody received some type of victory. Nine of Cups. But see, for some of y'all, that was hidden or something. With the moon. But I feel like it's coming out. If somebody kept that back from you, with that eight of swords, four of pentacles, that's what it feels like. Like somebody has to release this or to take out a resume. Or somebody could have even been getting released. Four of pentacles, eight of swords, somebody could be getting released. But there's a brand new, the ace of wands, a brand new beginning. That's also with that ace of wands. Having a new idea or inspiration. Okay. So, let's get y'all some affirmations with this thing. And we'll go ahead and close it out. Listen, wealth flows to me in unexpected ways daily. Um, I consistently attract opportunities that create more money. You got an ace of pentacles. Ten of pentacles. You got a ten of pentacles out here twice. That's double in portion, right? Four of pentacles with the six of pentacles equals the ten of pentacles. Then you got the ten of pentacles again with the ace of pentacles. That's that double in portion. So I don't know whether it's some type of unexpected income. Because I feel like it has something to do with someone from your childhood with the six of cups. You may not even remember this person. Or something like that. I don't know why I just got Mama Rose. All right. Let go of negative beliefs and press forward towards your success. And another four. So there's endings here. There's a lot of nines and a lot of tens. But with this four, that's why Spirit is saying you're divinely guided and protected. All right. Spirit. Bottom of the deck is you're highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods and energies right now so respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items situations and relationships but some of y'all can have something to do with a marriage with the wedding okay yeah reward yourself you've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive it's time for you to receive something, child. You have third eye. It's safe for you to see the energy of love in all of its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. Somebody could have even been in the service with this focus on service. This with this, uh, this is a unicorn, but the centaur, half man, half horse. So some of y'all could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Take that, it's going to resonate. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ascendant Masters. Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. That's why I was getting off that first call. I said, Spirit, trying to tell you, baby, it's going to be all right. Everything going to be all right. Someone could be a medium, and we have innocence and dancing. So, some of y'all have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. Notice the signs. Yes, the signs you have been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers. 
coins and other signs on your pad to remind you that you are loved and never alone. So with that coins, like money literally might just be showing up places. I've talked about this before. Like back to back, I would go in the store, money would be on the ground. I was driving down the street and this guy was literally just throwing money out in the road. That guy ain't pull over, baby. And then another day I was on my way into work and this man had dropped some money. It was just like unexpected income. And that could be happening. Hell, you can pull up to McDonald's. Y'all know we people do this all the time. Pull up to McDonald's. You got an extra little change. You say, you know what? I'm going to pay for my order and pay for the person behind me. And just keep passing it on. Something like that. Um, it's unexpected. It's unexpected income. Okay? So that's what I have for y'all. lay out from the bottom of my feet. Take what resonates. Read the rest. Don't make anything fit. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. Till next time.